Let's, uh, let's also turn on the mic. Hi, Papaya, it's your friendly neighborhood Anixia. And we're back with another stream. Uh, <laughs> we're going to do some more uh, Dungeons and Dragons in session two. Um, today we have with us Karxies, Clementine, and Otis. Uh, sadly, Otis is a... Uh, um, slept in and uh and uh and uh, uh forgot to set his alarm for this session so he's he's gonna be there but we'll be a bit later um i'm just gonna do also do a a quick recap of uh what happened during the first session and what happened in between uh let me also Call, you know what? I'm just gonna call it. No, not call in. It sounds stupid. Uh, <laughs> just gonna <laughs> pull in Dre's and Lay's for Clementine and Karxies. Um, I'm probably butchering the name, but okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna. I'm, I don't know if you are actually listening in too, but I'm gonna do a small recap first of what happened last session so start of a new school year uh S salem uh who will sadly not be here today either uh he uh last time he what happened last time he got the invitation but uh read it incorrectly and was not able to be here um uh, when he did actually read it correctly he uh uh sadly tripped <laughs> And got a concussion, so he's in the infirmary. infirmary. <laughs> so, start of a new school year. Uh, Salen uh, didn't show up. However, the rest of the party showed up on time to participate in the new student orientation challenge. The party first split up to look around the biblioplex, what could be seen everywhere. Um, Kirksees and Otis struck up some introductory conversation to get to know each other. Uh, Clementine was inspecting the books while Shroomy ran off to the art gallery. They then decided it was a good time to actually go do the orientation challenge. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Kirk sees the notice, picked up Clementine and Shroomy and carried them over to the Hall of Oracles. There they got the task to do a scavenger hunt. Um... And after lots of thinking, searching, booping, helping out, and even going as far as charming the cafe manager to get some free coffee and licking sh shrubs, they actually managed to find all the special items that were part of the scavenger hunt. The last item was uh, found after Toby and Shroomy took to the stage and performed a pretty disappointing voice and saxophone duet. Uh, this uh, also didn't happen without Karxi's burning his eyes. <laughs> party. <laughs> yes, that happened. The party also decided to start a book club that is totally not a cult. I don't know what you are talking about. Uh, after the party was done with the scavenger hunt, they heard a lot of commotion coming from the west shelves of bookshelf. What? Wow. West shelves of bookshelves. This makes no sense. <laughs> Where they found. No, it doesn't. Where they found a lot of students in chaos, as there was a trunk that has been transformed into a mimic. Of course, the, the party was brave enough to actually fight the strong trunk. After almost losing Shroomy on the first day, but both Otis and Clementine being kind enough to actually give Shroomy some healing potion, which they found earlier, and Clementine using the cure using cure wounds. Also. Yeah, also, you actually managed to give the last blow to the Mimic to defeat it. I don't know if you remember- Yes! <laughs> Afterwards, you were- you, you give up. Oh. Oh my god. Uh, just look up first level of your class. Oh, I will. I will look it up for you in a second. I'm. I'm finishing. Okay. 
Afterwards, you guys were congratulated by Professor Sharpbeak and given a platinum piece. Otis, however, decided to investigate the trunk and found a black, oily substance on the trunk that was likely a leather conditioner. But only time will tell. Um, I also mentioned a name, Shumi, uh, but uh, they did some dumb stuff and got themselves expelled. So they won't be coming back during this campaign. <laughs> Bad Shumi, yes. <laughs> so you guys have been uh, going to to the un to uh, Strixhaven or to university for a while now. You've been or for a while for a few weeks now. You've been uh, going to classes, doing your jobs, um, maybe doing some extracurricular. Uh, but today you guys are um, at the. Uh, what is it called? The entrance of the Biblioplex. Waiting for a class to start. You are waiting for um, one of the teachers because you guys are having a an outside class today. Yes. You guys are going outdoors. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> what would uh what is Karx is uh, saying about this? <laughs> you okay? Outdoors. <laughs> I would not recommend going to bed. <laughs> okay. I wouldn't. Oh my god. Wait, you actually do have. Okay, as you guys are standing outside, uh, a, a, a dryad comes up, who is Ferelda Lang, who is a respected Witherbloom professor of growth. And she's going to give you uh, a magical physiologies uh, course today. You're scared already. <laughs> A dry it. <laughs> a tree woman? Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> you what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just did not hear what you said. That was the entire problem. No, no, you're not gonna climb your teacher. What the fuck? <laughs> no. Wow. Wow. Okay, she just she comes up. And goes, okay, welcome class to a new day and a new, well, class, or no, not class, lesson of magical physiologies. Uh, I have uh, an assignment for you guys. I'm not going to teach you a lot of things. I'm just going to throw you out into the wilderness and you get to see what you uh, do with it. I hope uh, uh, none of you... Uh, come back with missing fingers or uh, toes. <laughs> okay, class, 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 calm down, calm down. No sacrifices just yet. 
<laughs> okay, so I have a uh, list for you um, with some animals that you guys have to retrieve. You can do this in any way you want. I just don't want them dead. I don't want dead animals on my on my porch. I want them at least alive. No. Also, let me eat this person. Okay. <laughs> Um, she is holding like a little piece of parchment paper. Uh, who can I give this paper to? Okay, so she, she gives the list to Clementine. <laughs> on this list, <laughs> on this, on this paper, parchment paper, it has, um, Three animals that you guys have to go and get. And uh, you guys need to go to uh, a forest that's on the campus. There is no name for it. It's just the forest. The forest. <laughs> that too. Yes, you guys are going to the forest, and on this list, you need to get a hellhound puppy, an iron tote, and a shark bunny. However, you're gonna get it. That's your way of get it. If that's your way of deciding it, um, but uh, good luck. And you get you guys get to go and um. Oh. <laughs> we saw so what did you hear last oh <laughs> okay so just i'm just gonna repeat it what it says so on this list it has a like i said it has a or like on this paper it has a list of animals that you guys have to go get in the forest it has a hellhound puppy it has an iron toad and it has a shark bunny. The... <laughs> so these are the three animals that you have to get. Um, I all. No, no. Yes, yes. One of each, one of each, but you have to do this together. Yeah. So, um, if you guys are ready, there is the forest and uh, good luck and have fun. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, let me think. You should be able to, yeah. That is your action, though. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. That's true. <laughs> then go ahead, transform into fat and fly off. <laughs> I'm just gonna because it you're that it's it is not like um how do you say it? It's not raining, but it's very cloudy. Because you either you can't do it either if you're in sunlight. So it's cloudy. And you're gonna Yeah. <laughs> ok 
Okay, so you arrive at the forest, and uh, well, there is a small path that leads into the forest. What? Path sooner. <laughs> <laughs> that path leads into a clearing <laughs> with a small like um pond yeah with a small pond and uh on the edge of that pond you find a shark bunny it's it's a uh kind of hybrid between well as the name it says, a shark bunny. <laughs> um, it basically looks like a sh it. It is actually does look like a shark, but it has um, uh, rabbit ears and whiskers like a rabbit, and it has legs. Like, it has legs that can actually. <laughs> yes. both it is both I don't know what do you want to do <laughs> go ahead <laughs> I mean the clearing the clearing area is big enough for like s people to not get their feet wet with the pond in there. That's true. You can you can try to um uh feed the carrot to the um uh, shark bunny. What? It 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 was actually uh looking at you uh Karxies, because you looked very tasty. So you changing back kind of stopped him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, Clementine, can you roll for animal handling? The uh, shark bunny is like sniffing toward because it does see the the the, the carrot. I almost said it in Dutch. I don't know why. <laughs> Um, and, uh, he hops over, it hops over towards you and takes a bite out of the carrot. <laughs> you snatch it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that would be an athletics check. <laughs> also high knocks. <laughs> I have a negative one. I just realized I well, have not you turned on good. you guys for like. I did a while. not roll good. That's an eight. Eight. Okay, it manages to like jump out or like 
you catch it, but it wriggles its way out of your arms. No, also, buddy, <laughs> it's a shark. It's a buddy. It's a bunny shark. It's both. Cute. You were already yeah. I uh, I like I accidentally forgot to unmute you guys. I don't know why I'm. Oh, <laughs> you guys great. have been saying stuff <laughs> for like twenty minutes. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you're already wondering why it's so quiet. Ah, yeah. It's because I'm not. Smart. We were dead. She yeah. Uh, she never turned us on. Yeah. No, I didn't. I'm glad because I'm not horny for Onyx Jail like that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my days. Behave, please. <laughs> I swear to god. <laughs> the only god you'll be calling is our names at the end of the night. <laughs> Just saying, I do have a D&D &D character who is a primordial deity, so. Even worse. Do you want to try yeah. and catch it again, or does Kirksees want to do anything? <laughs> I like her. She's making you just like eat my face. <laughs> no, no, not anymore because you turned back to a vampire, <laughs> to your vampire self. Do I have? Am I carrying like a satchel? Wait, we have items. Wait, I'm so dumb. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Wait, am I carrying a bag? I don't know. I don't know. Are you? I mean, we never discussed I mean... clothes. You could be naked, running around True. naked, if you wanted to. It Not wouldn't be really. so weird for my, for Clementine. She's a heckin' pawn. Like that's pretty standard pawn stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I don't do magic or anything. I mean, you can just jump on it and see if you can. I mean, it. I I would say I'm faster than Liz, so I'm. Why? What's your well, movement I'm, speed? I'm... Well, I'm a vampire, so. What's your walking speed? No, I'm not telling you. Why can't I know? I'm curious now if you're actually faster. No, stop it. I just. I'm gonna use druid craft, and I'm just gonna start like spouting out carrots because it's a cantrip, so I can use it as much as I want. <laughs> I mean, I'm you just gonna <laughs> attempt to catch the fucking. <laughs> okay, that's uh. <laughs> Am I rolling for uh, athletics? athletics? Yeah. Which dice am I rolling? A d20? Just a, yeah, d20. Then you add your athletics modifier. Yeah. Why does wow. she have a plus two to intimidation? You rolled a two. I did. What's your, what's your <laughs> athletics Three. modifier? Plus five. What? What? Five. So a five. <laughs> so, nah. so, yeah, nah. You, uh, I jumped and I missed. Yeah, you jumped and you missed. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. You can the also try to tame it if you want to. Wait, we can do that? Yeah. I want to tame him. I'm not, sh I'm not, like I said, you guys How do you tame things? With time, patience, and food. I want to tame it, be uh, Anixia. Okay. Um, roll I want animal to tame him. A roll for animal handling. I hope you fail. Nat 20. <laughs> Which 24 dice are you total. rolling? Because you're not rolling it in the thing. I'm rolling a physical dice. Well, you I could just take be a pic saying it then. Oh, I'm totally fudging the rolls. Definitely. <laughs> I'm such a yeah. cheater. I believe that as well. <laughs> I rolled like five back-to-back -back nat ones yesterday. Give me this, please. No, roll in the thing like everyone else. I, I, no. I, you can't see my rolls either. <laughs> yeah. I forgot. Oh, I'm gonna have to get a, a dice. You're the only one that. Yeah. Yeah, well, I don't own any D and D dice. You can get them for pretty cheap on Amazon. I have like 150 of them just no, sitting around my I'm house. No, because I'm literally so fussy. Oh, then you get some pretty ones off Etsy. Oh, Do yeah, I, I successfully tame like... him with my nat 20, please? Pray? 
you uh i mean it's a net 20 <laughs> what do you expect is he my pet now you uh with uh oh. even though it's uh just one class you managed to actually tame it with some time patience and your carrots <laughs> my carrots <laughs> just stole my ideas <laughs> I'm <laughs> the dumb thing. You then have to steal my ideas at the same time. <laughs> Excuse I just me, realized... miss. I, professor, I'm I'd like an, funny. I'd like a new uh, partner, please. Next year, I have speak with animals. I'm so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> I think... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Even Nox says, bruh. <laughs> also, uh, you guys wow. get a, 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 um, a, uh, I'm just gonna say a pigeon flies over and there, uh, a small piece of paper lands, uh, like, in the clearing and then the pigeon okay. flies off again. I'm gonna go pick up the piece of parchment and open it and read it. What's it say? Plant. Uh, wait. It says Clem needs to give me a pen. No. <laughs> it says, Get your own pen. It says, hey guys, uh, I slept in so bad that I won't be able to actually attend this class. I hope you guys uh, um, uh, do your oh, best. Oh, this is letting me down. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Love Otis. <laughs> Otis. I'm gonna Rest eat the, the fucking piece of paper in the pond. I can't That's set up rude. fire, so I'm just gonna drown it. We never checked how many spell slots I have. Oh, that's true. Um, let me let me grab that real quick. <laughs> you um, um, um <laughs> drew it spell slots. I think is it. I feel like my face is lit up so badly. You have two. Spell slots. Only two? Yeah. That's sad. You are like level zero. Level one. So? <laughs> so. I can just keep you eat carrots with Druk. <laughs> eat your carrots with your fucking pet. Yeah, actually, I will. Mm. Onyx is regretting her decisions. No. No, <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> I've We're done far trying worse. hard enough. Are you, uh, do you guys want to do anything else here or do you want to continue? You have the shark bunny. Let's continue. Wait, can I carry the shark bunny with me though? Yeah. Can, can I pet now? Can I give it a name? What? Do you no! I'm too weak and squishy. What? You want I want to push them into the pond. No. You want to push Clam into the pond? Yes. No. Just do a general strength check or something. Yes. You do this. <laughs> oh, Wait. also, this also goes for um um Clem. I know. Okay. I need to find a thing really quick to see what I can do here because I might be able to do something in retaliation. I mean, you. you... What is my strength? Okay, it's oh, just it a general. Um. Strength just, it's still a day twenty, isn't he? Yeah. My strength is so sad. Please. Oh, what did you roll? Oh, I dropped my dice. I'll re-roll that. This fucking shit hates me, man. 18. I, need a dice. I got an 18. I don't believe you. <laughs> Do you want the picture? I can send a picture of my dice. You could just put it on 18 and then send me a picture and make it look like it. Yeah, I'm definitely going to cheat. Yes. <laughs> I'm stuck with a computerized dice. Do you want me to roll for you? Yes. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's a strength mod? Yeah, what's your yeah, strength? Plus one. So it's it would be a, uh, for the one that I rolled. It would be nine. 
I got 18. Even with my negative one. So, to okay. Strike. I so, don't believe you. So you, you, you try to push Clement, Clementine into the water, um, uh, but she manages to actually uh, resist and not fall into it. Yay! What if I use Druid Craft to burn his nose? I can do that. What? No, there was no combat a small against fire. people. It's not combat, it's just, it'll get you away from me. You know, it's like hot by your nose. Wait, you're a vampire. Okay, wait, maybe this is a bad idea. You're not burning my face because I will <laughs> retaliate. <laughs> okay, now I am regretting my decisions. <laughs> Do you guys want to continue? Yes. Yes. He tries okay. to burn my face off. <laughs> I can't do that. I can only light like a little candle and torture a campfire. Like only like a spark. I'll just blow it out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We'll be fine. Anyway, we're continuing. Okay, you get okay. <laughs> um so there is uh there are two paths that you can choose. A left one or left a left path and a right path. Both of them you can see some smoke coming from it. And um you can also smell a little bit of like burning wood. Oh yeah, fire, let's go. Yeah. Either way, it's gotta be fire. <laughs> yeah, fire I mean, Can we split up and one of us go each way? You could. I'm going towards the fire. There both of them have fire. Wait, huh? Oh. That's There's... what I said about splitting up and go both going one way. I take the left. Ow, I just bit my tongue. Okay. Good, I hope it hurt. Wow. Petty much. Mm. I oh, suspect you'd go to right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm first going to do Clement. <laughs> so as you, yeah. walk, as you walk the left path. God, it's sounding really weird. Left path. Jesus Christ. Um, you come across another clearing where you can see a, uh, well, it looks to be a toad. Um, the hellhound. <laughs> but its a body, toad. but its body is formed entirely of superheated and molten iron, and it looks like iron. where you, iron, 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 iron brew. Iron. I don't know something. <laughs> <laughs> um, and as it it's like, Gaelic. Cro croaks? Is that the word for it? The croaks, yeah. Yeah, it, as it yeah. croaks, you can see like the 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 part under its mouth, like look as if it has actually molten iron iron in it. Okay, that's really cool. Do yeah, I need this thing though? It's it was on the list. Is it? Yeah. I can't remember the list. I've got my shark bunny. <laughs> and it has been, uh, something else. It has been uh, expelling some fire and, and magma from its mouth as it um, uh, so that's why there is like small parts of fire, uh, small uh, patches of fire and molten iron all over the clearing that you see in front of you. So, can I cast speak with animals and ask him to come with me for an assignment? <laughs> sure. Awesome. You still need- I guess you still need to do an animal handling check to actually see if it works. Do I get advantage then because I can speak to it? You know what? Sure. Yeah! Okay, wait, let me grab my other dice. Where's the d20? These are both Clementine's dice, so. Wow, I rolled dog shit. Nine. You rolled a nine? <laughs> that was the yeah. highest? Yeah. The other one would have been like a seven. Huh. Plus your animal handling thing? Yeah, this was okay. animal handling. Jesus box. Christ. I rolled that a three was... and a five. <laughs> okay, so it looks at you because it does understand what you're saying. But then decides to just ignore you and like hop 
away to a different no clearing. No. Come back, I need your help. <laughs> so, thank you for the What follow. do we do now? I don't know what do you want to do. <laughs> thank you, whoever just followed Nixia. <laughs> Welcome. Um we're following after him question mark? You can. It's not yeah. it's not hopping away away, it's like just hopping around the clearing that you're at. Sir, please come with me. I need your help for the passing grade. Roll again for animal handling. <laughs> uh, ten. <laughs> it looks at you again. And I am and, like, and then decides to ignore you again and just hops further. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I am so prepared to just, like, start begging this frog. <laughs> start begging? On the floor? Yeah. Like, please? Yeah, just like that. It's like, please, I need your help. Ow. I just banged my pinky, so I guess. No, I've just bought a mystery bag of, like, D&D &D dice now, so you all can be fucking happy. Yay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm begging this frog. Please, You're begging the come frog? with me. Yep. They... Okay. Try again. Wait, these are are these all at advantage? Wait, did I fuck this up? They're all at advantage. You're still using animal speak, right? Or speaking oh, with animal speak. I didn't speak. roll advantage last time. I'm dumb. <laughs> okay, wait. That's garbage. I'm praying the next one's better. Yeah, sixteen. It finally it heard your bags and was finally okay, you know what? Sure, I will come with you. And just oh my god, over. yes! <laughs> and hops over to you. Yes, new friend acquired. Do you want to go after Karxies later? Or just have... Sure. Okay. I will absolutely go find Karxies. No! Leave me and my how home puppy alone. <laughs> <laughs> it's mine. You've already got two of them, you greedy ass. I mean... You, I'm a druid, it's my job. A, like an... Uh, walking advantage so you're there first anyway <laughs> that's genuinely not the point they're gonna come and steal my hellhound puppy that's only if i can roll animal handling okay so as you uh as you uh uh you also walk the path you can also you can smell some burning you can see like um you come across another clearing and you um see a hellhound puppy in front of you who is just who is like trying to climb up a tree <laughs> but it's not working and as you climb up the tree or, or as, it, as it climbs up the tree tries to oh least, my god shark bunnies are so cute what you can uh you can hear some like um panicked noises coming from the tree as if someone is screaming, like, but not very loud, like, help, please, I don't know what to do, help, help. Okay. What do you do? Look, it's a I'm shark gonna... bunny. Stop it. <laughs> I thought you said I'm gonna stab it. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't stab the puppy. No, 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 no. <laughs> no I was telling Clementine to stop. Stop it. Um, so is the puppy up the tree or is it trying no, to get up it, the tree? It's like at the bottom of the tree. And oh, okay, it's so like. The tree trunk. Yeah. Um, okay. But it's also setting like the tree on fire, kind of. Uh. <laughs> oh, because it's. Yeah, because it's. It's uh, also okay. a, a little bit of fire. <laughs> Can I roll for animal handling and yeah. in an attempt to tame this puppy? Yeah. Oh, that is actually quite cute. I know, right? Oh, I need a good name for it. I have a different picture, but that, that's fine. <laughs> We're gonna pretend it's my oh, cute one. For fuck's sake, man. I swear to God. This shit just doesn't like me. Uh, it apparently doesn't know. I really fucking hate online dice because it's all run for an algorithm. Shall I, shall I roll for you? With my yeah, actual yeah, dice? Sure. Okay, so yeah, I sure. rolled a net 20. Yes! 
Yay! Yes! I tamed the puppy! <laughs> because I have a plus two on animal handling. So... Even... <laughs> Um, it's, it's a puppy in our mind. Because <laughs> uh, I tamed the puppy. So, <laughs> yeah, it is yours. So you see the puppy. You heard. You hear like the panicked screeching, not screeching, screaming. Um, and you just like crouch down and like try to call over the puppy. And because it is a new noise, the puppy gets excited and is like, "Oh, what is this? What is this?" And just kind of runs at you um <laughs> so <confused. laughs> um but uh because of how how you're presenting yourself it's uh actually um uh it actually just lays down on the floor or like yeah lays down to wait for um either a pet or a command or anything like that oh, i'm gonna pet the puppy <laughs> I've got a name for my shark bunny. Would you like to know it? Yes. It's Hesperus, which is Latin for the evening star. Oh. I'd yeah. like to see you remember that. <laughs> Write it I down. speak Latin. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> still. You're still confused about good D&D. d d it can be very confusing. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. Me, it's okay. me too, man. Me too. And I'm playing it. Good flex. <laughs> Good flex. So as you like tamed a puppy, you hear some like rustling in the tree that the screaming was coming from, and a um young girl comes out of it who is looks like an owl, owlin type of creature <laughs> cool. um where are you clementine did you manage to catch up i don't know did i i don't know you can tell me sure okay so this owl and girl stand is like uh at the bottom of the tree it's like straightening every everything out and it's like walks towards uh towards Kirk season's like, oh my god, thank you so much. Um I uh I also had to like get some animals. I just my party left me. Uh oh, rude. <laughs> L major L <laughs> F in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> uh <laughs> okay. Um were you guys actually made, made uh, told to come and get me, or did you have a class? Uh, no, we had a class. I, I, I'm here for the puppy. <laughs> me too! Look! Shark bunny! It's my baby! Okay, so you, okay, you guys are way, way better and smarter and braver than me, then, because I, 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 get, I mean, you saw me. I was up in a tree. <laughs> Uh, can I can uh, I join you guys for now? I have no oh. problems with it. It's the moody vampire that might. <laughs> the moody vampire. <laughs> oh oh! I forgot to tell my name. I'm Alphora. <laughs> I'm also a first year. I well, don't know what. Cool beans. Cool beans. <laughs> sure, <laughs> but you're not having my puppy. No, no. that's your puppy. That's that's fine. I uh, I actually didn't want to really join in this class anyway. So why are you here? Why am I here? I ha I have the class. I just got scared. Don't want it. Got scared. I got okay. scared, and I thought the oh, the best way to actually was just to climb in the tree or fly up in the tree. Oh. Okay. For a second, I forgot not everyone can speak to them. <laughs> Here's my puppy now. Technically, the spell would still be ongoing, so I can still speak to Kirksey's puppy. <laughs> Leave my puppy alone. I'm not taking him! What if I just want to say hi and introduce myself? 
button. I hope he growls and barks and doesn't like you. <laughs> it is very wary of Clementine because she was not the one to tame him. That's fair. I just want to oh, say no. hi. <laughs> so what do you guys want okay. to do? I mean, we Bring have him. all the animals in the assignment, do we not? Yes. Yeah, we should hand that in. Then I suppose we should go back to the professor. Okay. Well, you guys will, you guys are going back to the professor with uh, Alphora in tow. Um, yeah. Friends. She's, she's just chatting your guys' head off about art and all that <laughs> sort of stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Can I, like, use Druidcraft to make a flower and give it to her? Sure. Yeah, I'm giving her a flower. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Cartes, do you want a flower? No. Oh. You just want I'm gonna give him one. I'm gonna make a Belladonna flower and give it to him. I'm just gonna, like, run further ahead. <laughs> no, I'm giving you a poisonous flower. Oh, okay, it's poisonous. I'll take it. It's actually very poisonous. Oh, yay. Is yeah. that nightshade? Yeah, it is. Oh, I love nightshade. I'll take it. You're welcome. Onyx is like, for fuck's sake. <laughs> no, I'm just... Violence. <laughs> Whatever. I, I know. Like so you guys arrive back at the entrance of the biblioplex with Professor Lang, who is just waiting for... Uh, students to come back with the animals that were supposed to be uh, um, supposed to be got rescued. rescued I'm gonna say rescued yeah, supposed to hey, be rescued. they're my friends now <laughs> they're your, they're I better be allowed to keep the puppy yeah I better be allowed to keep my shark money the other guy has to go free because I only said like temporarily but like shark money is mine the professor sees you guys and uh, and says, Ah, there you are. Uh, I see that you managed to actually get the animals that you were supposed to rescue. Um, how did the how did it go? I've got I a mean, new pet. Went pretty good. Pretty good. It was. He easy. tried to shove me in a pond. And no, stop trying to dip me into trouble. I didn't. It <laughs> the tension I didn't do for it. you. <laughs> no, I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm not. I doing. said tried. I didn't say you did. No, oh, yeah, yeah. But you dub all your friends into it, do you? And I see what? you guys also found another student from another class. Uh, I'm happy that happened. Um, yeah, could I get my detention revoked? I am the one that saved her from the tree. From the tree, not the hellhound puppy <laughs> that was trying to get to her. She turns to Afora, like, and, and, um,. <laughs> Like raises an eyebrow <laughs> to like, what do you mean? <laughs> Afara just kind of nods and looks down at the floor and like, yeah, that happens. <laughs> yeah, uh, that was a thing. <laughs> and the prof professor Lang just looks back at you, Kark seasons like, okay, you know what? The tension revoked, um, but don't do it again. Got it. I'll pull a face when she turns her back. <laughs> Mocking me. No. So, okay, so you guys did the assignment. I'm gonna give you two choices. Choices. You either can um, keep the animals um, with you as your pet, but you do need to take good care of them, of, uh, of course. Um, you can also use them in any battles later on. Uh, or you can leave them in my care, and I will just keep. I will just uh, take care of them um, until you decide to maybe uh, catch them later. I am uh, keeping my puppy. I'm That's giving my shark even. buddy, but I told this guy he could go free after he showed up. The toad. The toad. Yeah. Then I will take the, the toad. toad. <laughs> then I will take the toad. <laughs> I will take the toad. Now, go off. Enjoy your day. I got it. Yeah. Like a kid on Christmas morning. <laughs> no, but like, 
Okay, yeah, but like she knew <laughs> from the like the moment I found that how puppies were gonna be in this campaign that I wanted the how harm puppy, and she wrote me a nat twenty to get this puppy. I'm so happy. <laughs> it was not was even nice. intentional. <laughs> I know, because it could have been completely, it was such a 50-50, and Clem was like, yeah, I'm gonna go left. <laughs> yep. I got a toad. Well, I got the shark bunny. You got shark the shark bunny, and I have the house so cute. puppy, and I'm so happy with that. We have eccentric pets. Yes, yes. you do. So, um... Not as weird as the pet slime button my other characters has. Alphora was like, I think uh, you. I need to go to another class. Um, I will uh, maybe see you guys later. And just run. Okay. Bye. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bye. Um, yeah. Let me yeah. get something ready. <laughs> I'm hungry. Why am I always hungry whenever I do D D with you guys? <laughs> I mean, considering this is like literally our second session. Yes. No. Well, even when I was doing like the other campaign session with uh Ev DMing, like every session I was just hungry. <laughs> Who is your fave character? In this campaign? Or like I don't overall? know. No, no, Nox was saying my fave character. Oh, I think um Alphora. Pro oh. Probably. But they're asking about like oh, my shit. characters I've played, and I was like, um, it's gotta be the other one. Yeah, it's Ooh, like, is a this like a cafeteria or something. Yes. So. Yay! Lunchtime. <laughs> um, this is actually. I'm just gonna. We're just gonna do a time jump. It's a few weeks later again. Mm -hmm. Uh, and um. Fun stuff. Hold on. <laughs> Fun stuff. Cool beans. So, uh, yeah, but yeah, it's a few weeks later, and uh, um, uh, you guys are uh, just uh, chilling in uh, the... Actually, in the you guys are chilling in the biblioplex, in the cafe there. And, um, and okay. uh, Elphora comes running up again. And... Oh, no. She's, she says, uh, you've all caught the cedars. Uh, we found these weird frogs and snuck them into the fireside lounge at Fire Yield Cafe. And now we're going to raise the little hoppers. Quick, come see before the professors find out. <gasps> I, I'm joining. Of course. You're joining? I'm obviously yeah. joining in. Dogs, okay. yes. So, I mean, you guys join her... Uh, to in the ca uh, fire old cafe and um, hi boo boo. Join up. Do you guys want to explore the cafe before you actually go and f battle with the frogs? Race the little frogs. The battle. Sorry. No, not battle. I'm sorry. I mean race. <laughs> have we have we have we eaten yet? We should like... eat. Yeah. I mean, technically, eat. yes, you've eaten Meow. because it's it's over a few weeks. Meow. So, Meow. yeah. I just meant at this Meow. point in time. At this point in time, Meow. no. You were just You're saying hi, chilling in the food complex. Do you want to get food? Yes, please. Hmm. We're gonna get food. I'm gonna eat before I starve eat. my character to death accidentally. So, um, in the middle of the fire old cafe, you can see it over here. Uh, F three, you have the barista station. Um, cool. Create some magical food. Yeah, I got you. I'm gonna use um, druid craft, and we're gonna make a radish. No, wait, no. I'm gonna make an apple because I like apples. You like apples? Yeah. I'm, I'm not thinking. sure if I can technically do that. It's only like small things. I'm Carrots like are pretty small, but I don't know about an apple. I can make like a crab apple probably. You can also just, just soup. you can buy also you can also just buy some food. 
Well, yeah, no, I know, but somebody in the chat said make magical food, so... Oh, create some magical food. Like, I mean, soup, soup, soup. Soup, soup, soup. Soup, soup, soup. Soup, soup, soup. I mean, Baby, what are you doing? Oh. Are my you cat's guys on my lap. I'm being a weirdo. to get some food at the barista station? I am. They can make food. Yes. I'm not eating that. I'm going to actually get food. Yes. <laughs> Bring me with you, please. Uh, you can come along. Yay! Um, so she has, uh, she? Yeah. There at the, uh, um, at the counter there is, uh, Alina Tanglewood, who is a, uh, elf mage. And oh. she is the, uh, who, she manages the cafe and serves as its chief barista. Okay. You forgot this is a German meme. <laughs> Good job. What a moo. I do that sometimes with French memes. No, my dice, baby! My cat just snatched my dice off the nope. desk. <laughs> <laughs> Not for you to play with, I'm sorry. It technically, the cafe only sells coffee and tea, but I'm just gonna say that for you guys, she made um, uh, some dragon breath peppers and salami on it. Alright, what did you roll, Babu? Wait, did what you are we say rolling? dragon bad breath peppers? No, dragon breath peppers. Do they are they are they gonna make your breath smell bad? My cat no. just rolled a nineteen. <laughs> Good job, cat. <laughs> Good job, cat. But you can um food. Do they have like pastries? Also, like, like, a, like a small like a, pastry. You can also get a the signature five-year-old cafe latte but it does cost 10 gold pieces Dang. are people here rich <laughs> i mean we have a platinum piece that's true yes wait so about the platinum have. pieces are like one each or split between us you all got one each okay so that's like 10 gold pieces I thought it was a hundred. I believe it was a hundred too, actually. Oh, you might be right. Usually, when it comes between divisions and money, it's a hundred, one hundred, one hundred. Mm -hmm. across the board, like a hundred bronze for copper yeah. is one silver, and a hundred silver is one gold. Yeah. But do you want to actually get that one, or uh, just have some common coffee or tea? <clears throat> no, I'm sorry, I was right. Um, a platinum piece is worth 10 gold pieces. Oh, really? Interesting. Yeah. But a gold um, piece is worth like 100. Silver, gold. yeah. Yeah. I'd rather just have like normal tea and like a small pastry or something. Okay, so that's one copper piece. How the heck do I give you a copper piece? I've only got gold on me. You give one <laughs> gold and then I... Like, swap it. Okay. <laughs> okay. One copper piece. That's... How How does that... Jeez. So you have... Now we need a math. Yeah, I just want to say calculate shit. <laughs> Wait. Okay, so if I lose a gold piece and it's only one copper piece, that means I have, like, 99 silver and 99 copper, I think. Well, so, um, <clears throat> Alphora is, like, like, near you guys, like, kind of buzzing around, um, and eventually takes a, um, piece of newspaper out of her pocket and gives it to, uh, Karxis. I'm gonna read it. Cool. I had something in my mind, and now I forgot what, it's, what I wanted to say. Oh, <laughs> oh just cat Raid leaving? Rescue. <laughs> what? Um, great Rescue. That's the, oh. that's the headline. <laughs> <laughs> okay. During a uh, class from Professor Lang, uh, Alphora got stuck in a tree when trying to uh, catch a hellhound puppy. 
luckily, two amazing students called- wait, she never actually asked your guy's name, but whatever- called Kirksey's and Clementine, um, managed to actually save her from the Hellhound puppy. <laughs> We're in the news! We're in the news! The, 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 the university newspaper, yeah. Nice. We're famous! Woo. And she's like, I wrote that. I wrote that. Good, good light, right? It's a good piece. <laughs> it's a very good piece. Please write more like it. All right, we'll do it. She just takes the paper again and puts it back in her pocket. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. But she didn't run off. No, just... I was just saying that to that newspaper. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys done? Do you? Yeah. What, did we order food or did yeah, we not? Yeah, I think you guys did. did. Yeah. No, you got a normal tea. Tea. Yeah, and you got the the dragon breath peppers, right? Yeah. Yes. I'm gonna say it's um. Ten copper pieces. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a gold piece. I need my change. I have no idea what that's gonna work out. I don't know so. how many ninety nine silver yet. and then ninety copper left. That'll be what you get. Something like that. It gives it back to you. She gives it back to you. Thank you. Math. So you Man. nom on your and drink nom and sip, nom 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 and sip sip sip. And and then and then we yeah. follow. <laughs> Frogs. <laughs> the frogs. Yeah. Alford um is like um waving you guys over to the um this area over here and that is the fireside lounge. It's like up here in oh, okay. at the back of the um, uh cafe. Uh and uh, the air buzzes with excitement and the smell of coffee as you and the smell of coffee as you make your way toward the back of the fire yold cafe and duck into the lounge to witness the scene. Hidden from the view of the barista station, the lounge's central table has been pushed toward the to has been pushed toward the wall and its chairs haphazardly tossed out of the way. In the middle of the room, uh, hop four unusual frogs. Each is glowing in vibrant colors: red, blue, violet, and orange. And has been. Oh my goodness! I want the purple one. There's Wait, the purple red, one. Blue, blue, violet. I want the blue one. There's violet. The violet. And yes, has been that's the one. <laughs> and has been outfitted with a tiny costume. Oh my god, that's amazing! One wears a makeshift cape. Another has suspenders. A third wears a stylish bow tie. And the fourth has a top hat perched jauntily on its head. Someone has used chalk to mark lanes on the floor. And multiple students are trying to coral the frogs into a starting position. <laughs> Let me look for something. There's another student, um, which I need to find name of um she is wait she's a thing hmm? she exists so she's a thing she exists yeah she's called uh Lorreen, who is uh a a first year human student and she's like you're just in time want to raise these frogs with us Raise or race? Because, like, I thought we were raising. Yeah, frogs, yeah, race. Raise, like, car Keep them. No. No, like. Oh, race. A race. A race. Oh. I thought we were keeping them kind of raise. Yeah, you have said it like we're raising. Them. No, no. Race. No. race. Like racing, like gambling. No. <laughs> we're having horse race get type gambling. Yeah, yeah we're having frogs. horse races, but we're but frogs. Yeah, you are. That's exactly what you guys are going to do. Damn it. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is not so fun. <laughs> yeah, can we both be disappointed and leave? <laughs> no. Aw, <laughs> but this isn't what I wanted. Can I, can I, like, take one and be like, you are stupid? 
I can cast speak with animals and call them dumb. Well, you're not calling the animals dumb. <laughs> I could, though. That's not fair on the animals. We need to raise the animals. Um, wait, them. can I cast speak with animals to tell the frogs that they need to get out right now? Heck yeah. Run as far away as you can. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. No, you can't. Can we just, like, ruin their What do you mean experience? I can't? I'm saying uh, you can't. But technically I can. No, she's giving us, this is, this is her, like, entire plan. <laughs> she's, so giving she's giving us. us no other alternative and no out. Yeah. So we're just gonna have um... to agree. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Can I not call a professor and be like, yo, they're doing something illegal. <laughs> I mean, they're illegally the gambling is, back here. The thing is, you can race with it. You because you can also cheer on another coach or heckle one. I Do don't want. <laughs> I want to stay with the frog. Me too. I'm. Can I steal one of the frogs? Can I keep them? <laughs> you want to steal one of the frogs? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I want to like just pick one up and leave. It's like, wait a minute. <laughs> gonna have to change my entire campaign. <laughs> oh no, I, I don't, don't want to race frogs. The funny thing is, is that <laughs> I don't. Um, okay, uh, let me see. That would be a. You want to, you want to pick up the f a frog. Okay, and that's an athletics athletic check. Athletics? To pick up a frog? You did that with the shark bunny too. Okay, but the sh frog is small. No, it's a giant frog. Oh! It's like a bigger frog. Oh, so it's like the size of me. Wait, so can we both that's try that? A it's a 15. Okay. You can also do you that. To roll. You might need to roll for me, honestly. No, I also got a 15. So plus, uh... Your mother... Do you say athletics? Yeah. Yeah. So I've got a plus three on that, so that's 18 for me. Okay. <laughs> so, but, okay. <laughs> I'm stealing the red one. <laughs> I want the purple one. The violet one. Yeah, the so, violet one. It's straight up purple. Okay, so they're <laughs> they're they're bigger frogs. Okay. Uh as you guys grab the frogs, uh they start belging in a very strange way and their eyes turn red. What? For God's sake, I should have known she'd block us at every corner. And um the Frogs suddenly grow even bigger into four giant frogs, even shredding oh. their makeshift costumes, and start oh. lashing out at the crowd. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> now it's my time to run away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm booking it. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> See ya, suckers. Bye. I mean, this this you... is your problem now. <laughs> My problem now. <laughs> Run. <laughs> Run. <laughs> Run. <laughs> yeah, even a something green. Run. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, I'm running away. See you later. Just peace. <laughs> I mean, you can also just try to, like, um, uh, coax it into <laughs> going back to what it was. <laughs> no, or you can no, book I'm, it. I'm just, I'm just gonna run away. <laughs> okay, you guys run off. Yay! <laughs> Instigators of chaos, I see. <laughs> you you, you guys are just gone. <laughs> Where are you guys running up to? Oh, yeah, there's like a map. We have to oh, actually yeah. know where we're going. Yeah. Okay, wait. Uh, I'm gonna go all the way up to like the front where it says like F1 because that's as far as I can get away from it. Okay. Yeah, I'm also gonna follow. Okay. Uh, 
I bet she didn't plan for this. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> 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 but, uh... <laughs> okay, so you guys run off. Um, you still hear the commotion uh, there. Uh, the of course the cafe manager uh, also hears the commotion because where what is happening? So she she actually runs off towards the frogs and try and um manages to uh actually coax the frogs to shaking off uh the their their weird um how do you say it um uh well the fact that they are actually uh um uh, acting like this <laughs> Uh, they eventually, the frogs turn actually uh, back to normal again, and also their uh, appearance. Do you, you want to try and steal them again? No. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> no, you just want to to want to uh, stay away from the frogs. Yeah, I've had Are enough frogs sure for one that? day. Are you sure about that? I've had enough of frogs for today. <laughs> One just tried to eat me. Oh. Oh. Hey, did it again. Bruh. The frog yeah. just almost ate me, and you're asking if I want to stay near them. I just, I'm just asking if you maybe want to investigate. That's what I'm asking. I'm no. blaming that other student for getting us involved. <laughs> you're blaming <laughs> a for us? Yes. Hi, Bean. My cat's back. Why are you so if the teacher asks me what happened, I'm blaming her. Okay. So what happened? Then, well, you see. Like, well, you see, I thought we were going to be raising frogs, and then we went over, and the, you know, it was raising. They were gambling, frogs, no, and they no. were gambling illegally, and um, <laughs> yeah. I'm not about that life. <laughs> then they frogs. turned into these giant things because they didn't approve, and uh, yeah, then we ran away. <laughs> Not that they didn't approve. Are you sure you don't want to investigate? Yes. No. <laughs> okay. Leave me away. <laughs> There's something there that she wants us to do, but I'm yeah. not really feeling fighting like four frogs, to be honest. Yeah. I mean, you run away, you didn't fight it. <laughs> That's no, exactly why we ran away. Go back and investigate. <laughs> I mean, the threat is done. I already no, said. Are you sh not. so? That's why I'm asking. Are you sure you don't want to investigate? Yes, I'm sure. Okay. My I am going to investigate. <laughs> you are going to investigate. King. Clementine can stay back. And be ready to run. I'm gonna go cautiously. <laughs> just, investigate. What if I just watch from the distance? Yes. <laughs> you just watch from the distance. Okay. So you go back to the frogs. I'm a healer. I'm squishy. I might need healing after this. It might try to eat me. <laughs> I'm here for support if you need it. I'm very happy that you guys have not um, got any uh, damage this session. Don't now. tempt me. <laughs> For now. <laughs> For, For now. now. For now. Okay, you're you're going back to the frogs. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you uh, do a perception check for me? Oh Oop. god. See, this is where it goes really wrong. <laughs> Which one do I roll for perception? Just 20. Oh, yeah, okay. We've oh. got a plus 2 on it as well, so... Nice. For some reason, Clementine has plus two to intimidation. <laughs> Amazing. I know. You I got an 18, so basically I just rolled a nat 20. No, nat 20. You rolled a 20. You rolled a 20, not a nat 20. No, but uh, I mean, so it's got the plus two, so uh, that's why it's like... It's not a nat 20. Nat 20 means natural 20, so you yeah, landed on 20. Gosh. 
be quiet. So you um you go you go back. You're at the frogs, and you see that there is some weird, strange, black, oily substance. Oh, that the, the same off of the mimic. The frogs. Oh wait, right, that was a thing before they actually. You're grew. watching from a distance. Be quiet. <laughs> so, hold and on. It say does the last again. Um. So, uh, it a black oily substance, uh, that they mm -hmm. belched out before they grew in size and attacked, and it does appear to be the uh, same substance that you guys found on the trunk during orientation. In my herbalization kit, would I have things like vials and stuff? Because I would like to collect a sample. You can. Yes. Nice. I'm going to collect a sample. And you can it. also tell that it smells hmm. slightly sweet. Intimidates a frog? <laughs> oh, intimidates in frog. <laughs> what do you mean so French? Intimidates in frog. Smells slightly sweet. Yeah. Ew. As <laughs> okay. Bubba, uh, what are you yeah. looking at? You guys are oh. you guys are going frog. Last time we had to like try and cut it off, and now I'm like I I don't know what to do. <laughs> yep. So like I've collected the sample. Okay. Great. Sample. Okay. 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 So I go back to then Clementine mm -hmm. and show Yo. her. No, no, because oh. then obviously it's like it's the same as what was on the mimic. Yeah. This is interesting. This is interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. Indeed. It's gross. It That's is what I know. Gross. It's gross. <laughs> we need like someone who can do like potions and or some shit to like test it. I think Clementine might actually be able to do that. <laughs> Let me check. Imagine if, if imagine if she's like yeah, honor for doing it, but you can totally I don't just see anything like, about those what the substance is. Yeah. No. No. Nope. Uh, yeah, I don't think that falls under herbalism kind of potion. So no. No. I have a herbalization kit, so. Yeah, I have an herbalism kit and an iron pot, so I'm assuming I can yeah. make, like, basic potions in there. But... Yeah, same. And I have a book about plant identification as well. Same! Probably because we're from the same background. Yeah, yeah you're going yep. to the same college uh, next year. <laughs> yeah, we are. My twinning! Twinning! So, do you well... guys want to try and gather some people for your book club <gasps> oh my god Can you're right people oh, for our you, book club do you guys want to do a um exam no I an exam in the ew. wait wait <laughs> how do they work though i'm actually like intrigued by this exam <laughs> you're intrigued by the exam <laughs> yeah how do you take an exam in D D? Um, hold on. So she doesn't know. I do know. It says it here. I just didn't need to read it correctly. <laughs> <laughs> um. So basically, uh, exams in this campaign work uh the following way: you um first get a studying phase. Yeah. Frog free book club, yes. It's a cold thing. <laughs> so you have a, a studying cult. phase um, where you can choose use any ability check or end skill during it. Um, <coughs> and you need to um, uh, um, how do you say it? Uh, need to roll uh, a d20 for that ability check. Yeah. Then, um, hold on. Then, uh, you need to do two ability checks for the uh, for the parts of the test, and depending on your result, you either pass, uh, ace, or fail it. 
Can I wait until I get my actual D and D dice before we start doing? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Like, yeah, we can do online dice. Let's build a cult. Let's you want build to build a the cult. cult? Okay. Where do you want to do that? Do you want to gather people here? Because um, we're just gonna say it's like maybe the day after the frog uh incident. So the there is still like some chattering about it. It also um Alfora of course joins in again and has the piece of paper has the newspaper in it with which does say that um frogs oh my god attacked students Cat, no <laughs> the frogs attacked the students and um, <laughs> some people cowardly ran away <laughs> i wonder why <laughs> i wonder why in my defense i am small mm, sure no <laughs> i'm and, four foot ten i am small <laughs> And um, but it got it luckily got um um solved with the help of uh Alina, the cafe manager. Sorry for not wanting to get involved in the frog drama, and <laughs> she is not joining the cult for that reason. Stop batting my dice! It's so snide. Baby, what the fuck? Cowardly ran away. Well, you're not joining our book club cult. If we're gonna, if the front of our cult is actually book club, then we should try and recruit people in like the library. True. Yeah. Do you want to go to, back to the biblioplex? Yes. Yes. Wait. Well, who do we worship? Like in this cult, or what? Books. Oh, that's just the front. We don't have to <laughs> worship the books. We're gonna worship Satan. We're going to worship Satan. Yeah. The book club is a front. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you guys are back in the biblioplex. Uh, I'm gonna guess you guys are just like in the uh, between the shelves and in the cafe and all that stuff, looking for people mm -hmm. that are there. Yeah. So there are a few students uh, in the. Um, there's a student in the cafe. Uh, which is again the one the, the um that's Lorene, the one that um asked you guys if you wanted to join into the frog race. She is just sipping some coffee in the uh cafe. Nice. Do you want to walk up to her? Wait, who is it? Lorene. Oh, they're the one who invited us to the Mm -hmm. No, she doesn't get an invite to the Satan Worshipping Club either. True. We'll go find someone I else. I don't want that. Um, I need to look for something real quick. Um, in at the uh, amphitheater, the stage that you did a body slide across, you can <laughs> find um, Quintilius. 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 He uh, sounds like he'd like books. He also sounds pompous and stuck up. We can feed him to Satan first. True. <laughs> he can become the sacrifice later if we need. Yeah. <laughs> um, he is like um, uh, rehearsing some kind of monologue uh, and it's like uh He's Don't bat a, my mic! He's gathering a small audience, but they're all not really actually in the mood to listen to him. It's just that he's there, and he's very loud. What do you guys do? I'm gonna follow the crowd. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna walk I'm away. I'm, no, I'm oh, like no. holding <laughs> on to the back of his shirt. I'm holding on to like the back of Kirksey's shirt so I don't lose him. Oh. No, I'm gonna walk up to Wait. where the stage is. Okay. Quintilius, Quintilius, oh my dearest Quintilius, where art thou and what do I, doth thy do? Do you say this in character? Get, get your from life. Your <laughs> audience. Sure. <laughs> okay, Quint 
Quintilius, who is like rehearsing his monologue, her hears you, uh, mumbling, but he mostly he hears his name and he's like, "What? Who said that?" Uh, I'll speak up further. <laughs> Me be like, Quintilius, Quintilius, oh my dearest Quintilius, what doth thou say? So you were also into. Uh, he he walks up to to you, to where you guys are uh, standing. And he's like, "Oh, so you are also in uh, into uh, acting?" I no. just point to Clementine and say, "That one is." I just like books. You just, you like books? Yes. Shakespeare is quite nice. Fuck Shakespeare. Yeah, fuck you too, mate. <laughs> I mean, I'm also into like the. Uh, um, in into the old stuff like the Shakespeare is an amazing Classics? like <laughs> the old Oedipus. stuff the old stuff I am now hardcore judging him <laughs> old stuff you're into the fine classics literature of into the, the classics, classics. I into also can't classics. always find words <laughs> shut up <laughs> the uh, into the classics I mean I'm also part of that language mm. society but why uh would you uh why are you talking about books then we're building a book club are you interested that sound interesting what uh you're welcome to join <laughs> you're welcome to i'm welcome to join hmm. yep what are you guys activities well it's a book club we read books oh. Generally speaking, we could go into the classics and discuss the finer points literature. Did you want to say something? <laughs> Kirk sees. <laughs> book. The book. Book. <laughs> also, it's I like, think it's like the dumb golden retriever boy. It's just like books. Book. Books. I didn't. I. Um, it does sound interesting, but I didn't quite catch your guys names what uh, what do you call you can call me clementine or dumbass hey <laughs> <laughs> clementine or dumbass don't call me that just okay, clementine I just, okay i'll just call you clementine and you then it turns to <laughs> it looks at Carxies. It's Farxies. Nice to meet you, too. But, uh, yeah, if if you guys would let me, I would uh, gladly join your little book club. When are we meeting? With pleasure! Do we have, like, little handouts we made at some point that we can give them with, like, our like our meeting place? Like a business card? <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna say Like yes. a little pamphlet. <laughs> okay. I'll give him one. Okay, he, he takes a, pam he takes a pam pamphlet. Jesus Christ. And looks at it and is like, yeah, okay. I will see you guys at the next meeting then. And then goes cool. back to I'll what he's doing. <laughs> like oh, cool yeah. Move, his voice is Gotta love that I've read so much heck in Shakespeare. Go. What? Oh. <laughs> I said, can we move? Because his voice makes my ears hurt. Let's go find oh. someone else. Yeah, let's group. go find someone else. Into our uh, satanic club. A book club, I mean. <laughs> Poor Quintilius is in for a shock. The way too late wants to sacrifice him. <laughs> Am I so, going to multi-class into Warlock? Uh, not no. yet. <laughs> So in the in the seating area that you can find at like B eight, the you can find Ursmaktok, who is the second year uh in the Witherbloom. Hey, and he's an an uh orc. He's always first class, last to leave, and always asking for additional homework. Because he's Ew. dumb. He's even better for a sacrifice than Quintilius. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is I'm it... going. I'm going to approach the orc. Okay. He is. Uh, so he is like on the uh, on a chair, just like studying. Can uh, I be really pretentious? Like puff yourself up and kind of pretentious. 
Yeah, as in, like, I'm gonna go hop up on the desk and, like, take his book and, like, mockingly say, Oh, what are you reading? <laughs> Just to be annoying. Sure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Roll performance. <laughs> No, you know what? Actually, no. Roll for I'm acrobatics. sorry. Roll for acrobatics. Sorry. <laughs> Listen, if someone can't pop up on a table, they're clearly broken. And watch me roll like a fucking crit one. A critical fail. I hate you. <laughs> I got a 16! You successfully jumped on the table. What tier. about your mod? What about the oh, modifier? My acrobats mod is zero, so. Oh, okay. Oh, it's just 16, okay. Uh, you jump on the table and nice. grab his book. And he's like, hey. Nice. Why are you. And I'm like, what are you reading? Um, I'm just studying for. um, Or, well, not studying. I'm just trying to. uh get some more information for the Fantastical oh. Horticulture Club. The what? <gasps> Woo! Horticulture! Yes, the Fantastical Horticulture Club. Can I th throw his book away and say it's boring? I'm in that club! Puff shit. <laughs> I have a better book club. We do have a book club. Which would be wonderful for researching more plants in your spare time. You can follow this nerd. So in his book club, you also study more stuff for the for horticulture. Well, <laughs> not necessarily. Yes. Yeah, we're just gonna I say did... yes. No, it's led by the individual. Honestly, it does sound interesting. Um, do you have any more information? Here, how um, this pamphlet? <laughs> <laughs> Cold pamphlet. You know, wait. Um, he ta he ta also takes the pamphlet and just looks at it. Hmm, might be something I could be interested in, but can I also have my book back? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Just slide off the table real quick. <laughs> you slide off the table real quick, or the book? No. Wait no. a minute. <laughs> no. Climate China has really high charisma. She has plus four to persuasion and performance. Good job. <laughs> What's happening with this character build? I don't know. You made it. <laughs> I have I a plus. I have a. I literally have a plus four in nature, and then like does nothing for horticulture. Oh, I only a plus two in nature, but I have plus four in medicine. Uh, do you guys one. want anything else from me, or can I go back to what I was doing? Oh, all right. Sorry, Mister <laughs> Busy. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your studies. Hope to see you there. Maybe it's Yeah, more cult members acquired. More sacrifices acquired. How many yeah, members do you members. guys want? I don't. Know. I don't know. We're just adding to them. Like, yeah, some, <laughs> some. Maybe if we make it really like, if we get like a lot, then we can make like a whole ass cult and like take over the school. Yes. <laughs> With the power of Satan. With the power of Satan. Yeah. The power of Satan. Okay. She's like, what have I done? <laughs> what have I allowed? Oh. Oh, <laughs> you guys are going to be worse power. than the actual villain now. <laughs> We're going to be worse than the actual what? <laughs> Nothing. Than the actual villain. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Well, we're at a no, school. How I bad can the villain DM. be? I saw this DM idea of someone doing like this ultimate villain move with this guy not knowing that the DM was gonna now make that character the big villain. <laughs> <laughs> and just like screwed his players over. It was like, oh yeah, you've done this like really big action move. 
and now you're the big villain. <laughs> now you're the BBEG. The BBEG. Exactly, and I was like, oh shit. Onyx can do that to us. In my other yes, campaign, I could. my DM actually confirmed that even if we left everyone's levels alone in our party right now, my character could TPK. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> She's a nuke. It's great. So in another, uh, I uh, so in another table at another table, uh, you find uh another student, a uh, second year's uh, silver quill student. Oh, fancy. So yeah, do you want to go over? I mean, why not? Yes. Yeah. Okay, you go over. She is uh. Um, trying to to like write something. Hey, girly, what you think about books? What are you writing? <laughs> what you dreaming about? <laughs> <laughs> what? <do> you, what? <laughs> it's a it's a reference to um. Ha uh, wait, hell of a boss. Oh, see, I'm just She's just like what you dreaming about. <laughs> I'm just uh, <laughs> writing like a poem, and um, but who are you guys? What kind I'm of Clementine. Poem? That's Kirksey's. I'm uh, just writing a poem about um um uh, about school life. Oh yeah. Oh, that's kind of okay. dry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's probably why it's I'm like, struggling with it. Is this like an assignment? No. I just well, I just love language. Well, we're starting a book club and maybe you could find more resources for your poetry if you would join our book club. A book club. A book club, yeah. A hmm. book club, yes. Sounds interesting. I would certainly hope so. Do you guys there, are there, you there's books of poetry in there too? Books of poetry in there too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. And we're just just discussing these books and poetry. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. I will. Uh, I will join. Here oh, is nice. a pamphlet. She takes the pamphlet. Yeah, that looks good. I will take it. I will. I will join. Nice. I look forward to seeing you there. I look forward to seeing you guys there too. <laughs> Don't laugh like that in front of them. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> He's twisted. That's why. Got a few screws loose and no screwdriver. And he is here in this in this university. Uh. Yeah. Just because you got a few screws loose doesn't mean you're not smart. I passed all my stats with like flying colors, so you know. I've I mean, never taken one of those. Wouldn't be here otherwise, so I guess you are pretty good. Just I've never on taken one of those. SATs. Yeah, I've never taken one of those. They're American. They're not even British. <laughs> I just know about them. Oop. You've taken you've you both have taken your test. You Clementine is now here. No, nah, she's here on recommendation. I don't know what you mean. Scholarship. <laughs> she's like fifteen and put in here by her grandma. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, no one said that I was street smart. True. I'm also a vampire. Just... So you know. Just work on those screws, and I'm sure it'll be fine. Don't tell me how to live my life, and we'll see you at the book club, yeah? Yeah, sure. Cool. See you then. Peace. I'm gonna walk away and then whisper to Clementine that she's being sacrificed first. <laughs> 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 well, we got, like, a list, like an order. <laughs> I swear to God, <laughs> we're gonna become amazing warlocks. I'm just saying, like that's the only thing I can think of have resulting from this. <laughs> also, recruiting is really easy. I don't get like people's ideal about it. Oh, sorry, I just sneeze. 
I mean, you guys are getting the right type of people. The right type for to make sacrifices, yeah. No, the right type for the book, for the for the uh the, the book for books. <laughs> we looked I mean, in the yeah, library because our friend was, is a book club. If it was a legit book club, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> These poor students are gonna be horrified. And what's there is they cannot leave. They have no chance of escape. Nope. So there is also still uh, Alphora is just floating about. Do you guys want to? No, change? she's not joining. No, she's not joining. Are you sure? No, we're sparing her. Technically, she should be happy. <laughs> no, she uh she backhanded us in that that uh, paper <laughs> clipping. She's like burned the bridge, and I'm not interested. I don't care what your campaign says and where it's going. Like, oh, you really need to make friends with the no, find someone well, else. <laughs> Find a new newspaper. <laughs> oh yeah, parties a making NPC. a book club. Yeah, we're join gonna, now. We're not... Oh yeah, we're in the newspaper. That's perfect. We're gonna get more cult members. I mean, ah, oh, how do you argue with that? <laughs> Damn. If they try to leave, I'll use chill touch on them, which literally summons like. Uh, like, you basically get touched by death. I have a thievery kit, and in that I imagine there's a toolkit for locks, so I'm just gonna barricade the door with, like, loads of chains and locks that they can't undo. Yeah. Do you guys wanna They're gonna do join a... the cult. They're gonna be sworn to secrecy, and they're not going to be allowed to leave the cult. Do you guys wanna do a actual meeting? And where? I don't know, because I don't have any plans for it. <laughs> no, no, yeah, me neither. No, no, no. Not yet. Okay. We need to plan this Just meeting. Fly. <laughs> On the fly. No, we need to plan it. There's no. going to be a plan. We also, we also need Otis here. Dramatic robes. We need dramatic robes. You need dramatic I am a dramatic rogue. Robe. Robe. Oh, like a cloak. A cloak. Yeah. We yeah, also like need close. Otis. Yeah, we also need Otis. That's because true. Otis would be also chaotic. So. We are priests of the dark faith, and you are all now our initiates. <laughs> but yeah, uh, someone got a wind of you guys making a... Uh, um, a cult. A cult. No, not a cult. A book club. A quote-unquote book club. A book club. A quote-unquote club. And um, made a mo mm. li nice little... Uh, advertisement in the newspaper um that says well that was nice of them book that's why we're not oh, inviting her what inviting who Afora. no 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 we're just not inviting the person who wrote the article that too we like them to, they submitted it to the newspaper is what whoever I did this we're sparing from the death that we're about to rain yes, upon these from students the, the absolute horror that we're about to you know ensnare onto these people. Yeah. <laughs> what do you guys want to do now? Eat. I'm really fucking hungry. I've guess... also not eaten any dinner. It's... I it's... woke up and I came straight here, so I haven't had the chance to eat at all. Yeah, I literally got home and then, like, joined. Yeah. Do you guys want to round it off here? Yeah, yeah. I think here would be good. Up. That's okay. Yeah. So you guys did a lot. You mostly also ran away from frogs. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're allowed to run away from frogs. True, they're big, and I'm small. I am very small. I'm portable, in fact. It I'm tried to small. eat us. No, I've got my bunny. Out. My shark bunny. You failed to specify how it lashed out, so I'm deciding that it tried to eat us. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, then yeah, I'm just gonna say uh, uh, that was it for this session. I will, of course, write a recap for both you guys and also for the uh, for everyone that is watching next time. I don't know when that will be. Uh, just just keep getting the eye. gang together is hard. Yeah, it is. Just keep an eye <laughs> on live notifications that have anything to do with that 
with D and D or this kind of specific campaign. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're lurking and not following yet, make sure to uh, follow so you get a notification of when I go live next. <laughs> um, and uh, yo, lurkers, join the cult. If you're <laughs> if you're following and you're in the chat and you're lurking, then you're already in the cult. I've decided that just now. <laughs> yeah. We won't um, sacrifice you guys unless you're really bad, though. So don't worry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> As always, stay awesome. Make sure to eat and drink enough and to get enough sleep. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye and good night.